Hello everyone, welcome back to the Boohoo Review. Today I'm going to be talking about some theories and a bit of a breakdown of the trailer we got yesterday. If you haven't seen my reaction to it, then make sure you check it out. I'll leave the link in the description. Without no further ado, let's get into some of the theories and some of the breakdowns of what I've seen in the trailer. Now, the trailer we got yesterday, which is really good, focused more on Donna. And what we can see is she lies in bed thinking about what she's lost. So it's obviously affected her quite deeply. So I'm theorising that she could have possibly had a very depressing life since she left the Doctor. Obviously, she's been married to Sean and she had the lottery win. So it hasn't been totally dark. And Donna is still Donna. But she could have had possibly a depressing life if she's lying in bed thinking about it. So it's obviously affected her deeply after all these years as well. Now, theorising here, if obviously we know she remembers the Doctor. Now... With her knowing what she's lost, maybe she actually sees death as a sweet release. I mean, after all, the doctor said she he doesn't know if he can save her. So that's a possibility. Maybe she sees death as a sweet release. Maybe it's not something that she's totally against. Obviously, nobody wants to die. But maybe she, she accepts death because she probably doesn't want to go back to forgetting the doctor again after remembering again what she lost. So that's one possibility that Dawn's had quite a depressing life and that perhaps she will accept death this time. Another notable thing in the trailer is Sylvia slaps the Doctor. Now, I do like this scene because the Doctor says, oh, here we go again. So that's a nice reference to the past of how it's happened with him and the mothers. But um, what's interesting is that she actually slaps him. Because if you think about it, Sylvia and the Doctor were in a good place when he last saw her. Because if you think about it, it gave her a lot winning lottery ticket. And who wouldn't be happy about a winning lottery ticket? So, um, and also, I remember one of the last times she saw him as well, she sort of like waved him off smiling. And he said, oh, that makes a change or something like that. So that's quite interesting that she slaps him. It could possibly be because she's trying to get him away from Donna so Donna doesn't remember. But I do think by now in the episode, in the special, Don has actually remembered the Doctor. And also, why would you slap the Doctor if he gave you a winning lottery ticket and you were in a good place with him last time? It could possibly be, linking back to the theory I've just had, it could possibly be that it's sort of like, not revenge, but just sort of like she's getting back at the Doctor for what he's done to Donna all these years. Because obviously... Donna was telling Sylvia about how she lies in bed, thinking about what she's lost. So obviously Sylvia's hurt, knowing what Donna has lost, but she can't tell her. So maybe it's her way of getting back, because obviously she must feel frustrated and angry as a mother that she can't help Donna, and that's all because of the Doctor. My next series now on Wild Blue Yonder. Now, if you think about it, I feel like it's going to be set in sort of like tones to Midnight. It's going to be very similar to Midnight, because I feel like from all the shots we've seen... It's all like sort of one set, a bit of a more wide range and set than the Midnight episode was, but all in one sort of set. And I also feel like, like Midnight, the the monster, whatever the villain is going to be for the episode, is going to be quite dark and scary. I feel like Donna's going to help bring some comedic value to the episode to not make it 100% dark. But I do feel like it's going to be a dark episode. And what's backing that up is, as Donna says, there's something so bad that the TARDIS ran away. So obviously there's a monster there that's quite dark because the Tards don't just do that for any old monster like the Daleks or Cybermen or something like that. So I feel like it's going to be quite a dark episode, that one. Now, not only that, talking of the TARDIS, if you put the video on like a quarter speed, you can see the TARDIS actually doesn't materialise. It sort of like spins very violently and then slams into the wall, which you can see again in the shot where Donna says about the TARDIS running away that it's sort of being imprinted into the wall. So whatever this monster is, it's obviously very strong and powerful. So again, backing up the theory that it's going to be quite a dark, scary, powerful monster. Sticking with Wild Blue Yonder, um, if you slow the trailer down and really look closely, you can see the shots from Wild Blue Yonder and really focus on them. And they're quite sort of like dark and they really do make your blood run cold if you listen and look closely. Because like you have one shot of the Doctor saying, why does it have to be this? And he's very like hurt and angry. And then later on, even worse, the Doctor really, like, screeches, like, no, but really bad, like, really, really hurt. And that first shot I was just talking about also, it sort of reminds me of, like, when he was regenerating, saying, I could do so much more. So it's interesting how they link closely, but he's obviously got the same energy as when he was about to die. So I really feel like this also helps to prove that this Wild Blue Yonder episode is going to be quite dark, and the monster's going to be quite scary as well. And then cut into a shot of Donna as well. She puts her hand up, but she looks very scared, sort of petrified, like she's about to die. So I feel like this again backs up this theory that it's going to be quite a dark, scary episode. Also, with that episode, there contains a shot where the Doctor sort of sort of stands up and he looks quite happily surprised. And Donna sort of looks surprised, but she doesn't know what she's looking at. Perhaps this could be um, 
a hint towards a returning character. Maybe this is a scene that a character returns as well. It's just a possibility, but there's another theory. Now, also in the trailer, we saw the return of Kate Stewart, which is brilliant. And if you notice, Kate Stewart says, how do we fight the human race? And now, which is really interesting, because if you link it to the other shot of where, like, the drill hits into the earth with the, like, cracks going through, I feel like that's the same location as what we got for one of the teasers where you see the unit Zolder possessed. And I feel like that links back into the what Kate Stewart was saying about how, um, how do we fight the human race. I feel like if the human race is sort of, like, taken over and possessed... I feel like that's got to do with the toy maker. Now, the reason the toy maker could be doing that is possibly because he's trying to hit the doctor where it hurts. I feel like you could see in this um, in this uh, trailer that you can see that it's sort of like the toy maker trying to get revenge at the doctor. Like the doctor said, something's come back after a very long time. And I feel like, how would you hit the doctor where it hurts by obviously hurting the human race and Earth? Because that's where it would hit the doctor the most. Now, something else which is really interesting, which I wouldn't mind, I feel like magic could actually play a part in the 60th anniversary which would sort of fit the tour shop vibe because there's a couple shots which are quite interesting you have one where like the doctor's hand is stretching out and it's got like blue energy coming out of it and also if you look closely just behind him it's like a block like a shield which is quite interesting so that could be magic and then later on there's like this shot of this purple white energy like something's trying to come through so that's a possibility perhaps some sort of magic could be playing a part in the 60th anniversary now this theory doesn't really necessarily mean much but i feel like the other day from Who Spy, we got the shed that says keep out. I feel like that is the shed that Beep the Meep is hiding in, in Donna's garden. Because I feel like it's the same shape and the same yellow glow coming out of it. Again, I don't think that means too much, but that's just sort of a way of finding out what that shed actually meant. Also, like the shed, something that isn't too important, but it's still worth noting. If you look closely behind the shot of the Doctor and Donna where they're running, the corridor is sort of collapsing. And if you look at the lights, they're like playing cards. I feel like that building was made by the toy maker. Again, like the shed, nothing too important, but just nice to link back and find out what that is all about. Moving on to some more wilder theories, but with Doctor anything is possible. If you look, when Donna is saying about how she lies in bed at night thinking about what she's lost, there's three shots of the Doctor, and he's in this sort of like factory area. And what's really interesting is there's blue flashing lights as well. Now this is more of a wilder theory, but could the Cybermen make a small cameo in the 60th anniversary? It is certainly a possibility because if you think about it, blue flashing lights at a factory, it does remind me a lot of sort of like um, the Age of Steel. So I feel like that's another possibility, a bit more wilder, but it could certainly be a possibility. Also, when the cracks are breaking in the earth, if you listen very closely, a sort of like dark, like villainous, familiar voice says, That's really interesting. I can't sort of place who it is. But it does sort of remind me of either like the voice of the trickster or Zelen, which is very interesting because I feel like they are quite similar in a way to the toy maker. It's not necessarily a returning villain or a villain we've seen before, but I feel like that's sort of something worth noting because it's sort of like buried in the trailer. You've really got to listen closely, but I feel like it doesn't sound like the toy maker. So who could it possibly be? Now breaking down some shots, which I feel like are notable and worth mentioning. The first shot is obviously the TARDIS being airlifted. Now that obviously does remind me of the 50th anniversary and I feel like Russell T Davis has, has probably done it just to sort of like link back to the 50th anniversary because as he said in the magazine the other day, how is he going to top the 50th anniversary because he loves it. So I feel like that's sort of like a nice nod to the last anniversary special. Another thing to note is the toy maker. He's like in, really giant in one scene. Like he's like leaning over a building with string puppets. That's also something very interesting as well. And then we also have another shot where Donna's holding those boxes and the Doctor looks at Donna. If you look very closely, it does look like the first time the Doctor sees Donna and Donna's just realising who he is. That's very interesting. We, got, we get to see the first time the Doctor and Donna see each other after, obviously, the end of time. Also, every shot of Kate in the trailer, you can see some sort of like silver ring around her arm, which is really interesting because with the promo that we saw of Mel announced that she'd be in series 14 she had a similar silver ring around her this must have something to do with unit what it could be i'm not sure but i thought that's just interesting how that links in and some of that will be continuing on to series 14 also sticking with kate as she shouts open fire there's this sort of like brown door which shouldn't be behind which shouldn't be behind her and that's really interesting as well i feel like that's something created by the toy maker perhaps that's the toy maker invading the unit skyscraper now lastly talking about the shot of the 15th doctor 
that shot behind him, it's difficult to say what it could be because it could be an outstanding shot like the last. But if that is the real genuine shot, that could possibly be Gallifrey. We know Gallifrey is involved in the 60th anniversary that has been officially confirmed. So that would be quite interesting. And again, he's wearing something which I don't think we've seen him wear before. There's sort of like black buttons on his shoulders. I don't think that's something we've seen him wear before as well. So that's really interesting. But yeah, those are all sort of the theories and breakdowns that shot at me straight away when I was watching the trailer back. Um, it was a really good trailer. Again, it was a shame about the release dates, but all in all, it was a great trailer. It really showed, like, unlike the others, it showed, like, more of, like, sort of epic scale. It showed, like, more of a budget. Like, the others really did look good, but this one, I feel like, just showed us that they've really upped it, and it does look more epic than it has come across previously, which is great. Like, the unit skyscraper and London being destroyed, it all looked really great. And I feel like it's helped to give us another insight, unlike the other trailers, it's given us sort of, like, another insight into the 60th anniversary sort of shown in a new light which is really cool it looks really great so i'm really looking forward to it like like i said the other day it's only like less than two months now till the 60th anniversary which is absolutely amazing i really do look forward to it but yeah it was a great trailer let me know what theories and thoughts you've had from the trailer what you've seen which i might not have mentioned what you agree with what you don't but let me know in the comments below what you think and yeah thank you so much for watching the video and hope to see you in my next video soon thanks everyone take care